Good day viewers, my name is Uncle K, Uncle Kyle from A Plus Model School. Today we'll be looking into the subject mathematics. On this, we'll be looking into the topic measurement. Under this, we want to look into the perimeter, circumference, and areas of regular and irregular shapes. To this, we have the objective of the lesson. People should be able to, one, explain the meaning of the perimeter, circumference, and areas of shapes. Two, people should be able to explain the formula or use the formula of each shapes in respect to their circumference, perimeter, and areas. Three, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to simplify each formula in respect to their perimeter. And, to, and lastly, people should be able to identify each shapes, both regular and irregular shapes. On our next slide, we have the meaning of perimeter circumference and areas of shapes one what is perimeter that is alphabet a perimeter perimeter of a shape means the sum of all lengths or sides of a shape i repeat the perimeter of a shape is the total sum of all lengths or sides of the shape there are two main forms of shapes. One, regular shapes. Irregular shapes are formed in a regular pattern. They have equal sides and angle. Two, irregular shape. Irregular shapes takes an irregular pattern. They do not have equal sides or angles. Example of an irregular shape, we have a scaling triangle, which has no equal sides or angles. One, well, let's look into the perimeter of irregular shape. Perimeter of irregular shape can be easily determined through the sum of the length of their regular sides. That is, the perimeter of a regular shape can be determined easily by adding all the sides of the regular shape. Examples The sides of the equilateral triangle below is 2 cm. Determine the perimeter of the shape. According to the diagram, we see that it is an equilateral triangle. And an equilateral triangle has equal sides. So therefore, to get the perimeter, we add the whole sides together because perimeter is the sum of all sides. Therefore, P, which is representing perimeter in this slide, on this example, is equals to L centimeter plus L centimeter plus L centimeter, which is therefore equals to 2 centimeter plus 2 centimeter plus 2 centimeter. Therefore, P, which is perimeter, is equals to 6 centimeter. The perimeter is equals to 6 centimeter. That is the perimeter of this equilateral triangle. On our next slide, we have some exercises that you can try on your own. And I will advise that you take your time to try these exercises. On our next slide, we have the perimeter of irregular shapes. Now we want to look into irregular shapes how to get their perimeters 
perimeter of irregular shapes is determined using more mathematical skill of geometry unlike the regular shape which can be easily done or determined that is irregular shapes involves some additional skill of geometry to know how to determine their perimeter though it is very simple also just follow the procedure as analyzed or as explained in this slide or this class we have an example down there you can see two diagram CD the question on it says determine the perimeter of the irregular polygon below don't get convinced polygon are shapes of many sides that is it can have three or more sides so we have a the first one which is seven centimeter five centimeter nine centimeter and eleven centimeter and the second one 10 millimeter 40 millimeter 8 millimeter so the solution of the first one says perimeter is equals to 5 centimeter plus 7 centimeter plus 11 centimeter plus 9 centimeter hence the perimeter of the first shape is equals to 32 centimeter the second one the perimeter is equals to 40 millimeter 8 millimeter plus 10 millimeter ends the perimeter is equals to 32 millimeter then below we have various exercises on the regular polygon as well I will advise that we also try to do all this so that we can assess ourselves on how far we have learned today and this is the end of the class on mathematics for today thank you god bless you don't forget to click on our video don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel for the next video thank you god bless you